Okay, uh, my name is Alyssa Neighbors, and this is <laughs> this is what I did for assignment one. I'll just go ahead and show you. It takes a little bit to load because my audio files are a little long. Um, okay, so as you can see. There's um, a picture of an empty classroom fading in and out. Um, I wanted to do something a little spooky, so I'll turn up the volume a little bit so you can hear the track. And as you can hear, um, as I get closer to a certain point of the screen, it seems like there's another track. You can hear it sort of fading in and out as I get further and closer further away and closer to that specific point on the screen. Yeah. So, um, I came up with the idea of using, uh, first using an image um, as a background instead of the plain black color. I got it from freedigitalphotos.net and uh, then I noticed when I first just flat out replaced the background that um, this command right here was causing it to get darker and darker and darker and fade to black and I wondered if I could also reverse that which I did with the tint command. Um, I did sort of a maybe overcomplicated way of fading in and out and um, by uh, having a variable called counter that's initially set to zero and a method called cycle tint, um, which is down here, uh, and a, a Boolean variable to keep track of whether we're going up or down. Um, so if the counter was less than 25 and we were still going up, the counter would increase. If it was already at 25, it would start going back down. Um, if it was a negative 100, uh, it was really actually very hard to figure out how to get it to go full black again. Um, so uh, if I had a little bit more time, I'd want to mess with that a little bit more, make, maybe make the fading in and out a little bit more localized to where the mouse is, um, and so on and so forth. Uh, the two sounds I got were from freesound.org. It was a children's classroom and a girl crying and I set um, an arbitrary secret points. Uh, I wanted to randomize it but I thought I would just go ahead and give it a, a solid point that I could change from the code, maybe randomize it later. Um, and when the players start, the classroom noise is at half volume and the crying noise is at zero and then uh, I wrote a method to get distance from that secret point to the mouse's current point and uh, then I have this beautiful I know this is terrible a uh, beautiful set of if statements that uh, determine the volume of the two players um, depending on how close you are to that secret point and if you actually do like release your mouse right on that secret point it will set both to zero resulting in an eerie silence um, so this was my scary painter based off of the sonic painter from week one uh, I hope that you thought it was amusing <laughs>